Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I blow dry my hair from this to this in minutes. So follow me step by step. Let me show you how I did this. This is very, very quick. It doesn't take time at all. Using a comb attachment hair dryer. That is whole hair dryer. This hair dryer. That's the body. The comb attachment is separated. That's the one in my other hand. So I'm going to fix this onto the hair dryer. That's what I'm doing now. When I finish fixing this, I'm going to continue with my hair blow dry. I'm going to make sure this thing is very, very stuck onto it well because my hair is very, very hard. So next, what I'm going to do is taking off my little towel. I just finished washing my hair from shower and then I'm applying this heat defense. I emptied it from its original container as it was almost finished getting to the bottom of it and then I used the container for something else. So next I'm going to use this pink oil hair moisturizer. I'm going to put it into my hair all over. Make sure it's well soaked into my hair before I continue my process. This is very very good. Make your hair feel very very smooth and soft. And so I'm applying this into my hair throughout and then make sure it goes all the way to the back, front, every part of the hair. And then next I'm going to use my comb hair dryer with the attachment on it that's what i'm using right now i'm going to comb my hair my hair is really really tough very hard first before i was going to brush it through i use a different like comb to just comb a little bit of it out and then i'm using this comb attachment to go through it's just like any ordinary afro comb that's how it's designed for an afro hair there is these settings on it one is very cold cold that is just blow air into your hair and then there is another one that is on like one or medium and then there is another one that is high before starting this hair, the machine was already on cold, so I'm now putting it back onto like medium for my hair because my hair is quite really tough and then the cold will not help or do anything to it. So if you look at my hair very well, you see that the sides of my hair are very very shorter. The sides going to the back are shorter than the front and then the middle is because of the way I cut my hair the very last time I got my hair cut and I've not cut it again that's why so as it grows out to a point I'll be trimming and trimming until all the hair matches to the same size so that's the middle of my hair that is really really tough to get my comb right underneath so I separated the middle of it and then I'm using my comb again to go into it there I'll be able to get the hairs that are stuck because mostly in the middle of my hair it's always really really curly super super curly than the rest of my hair so that's why I separated it to just go through with the comb and then get it all dry and then stretch out that's what i'm doing and so this comb is very very good for my hair since i started using it it's very very easy it doesn't give me any damage i brush my hair through easily and go with any style that i want using this comb is very, very good for blow drying my hair i can feel that the hair is really free free to manage my hands are easy to go through it and i feel really really good having this i can blow dry this and then leave it on even a week or so and then it will still be nice and easy for me to manage sometimes immediately i finish washing my hair you see that as i've stretched it it will go back into really really curly so most times like maybe twice or once in a week i try to blow dry it anytime that i wash it i try my best to blow dry a little bit because that will help me a lot so now that i finish i just using my little uh or big comb to just go through my hair to see all the places that are, are not well maybe stretched or blown out and then reuse my blow dry again if there is any needed so i make sure i go through the whole of my hair from the back to the front especially the middle i have so much problem with the middle of my hair always really really stuck and thick even though i've brushed it through i've blow dry with the dryer you see that it is still really really curly there so I'm going through again to make sure that all the very curly and locked hairs that are there have come out and then they are really loose for me to just do. This is very very quick, very easy. In less than 5 minutes you finish this. If you are going somewhere you just use your little scarf to wrap around it and you are gone. So that is my hair, how I blow dry it. Very simple, quick and easy in 5 minutes without any hassle at all. You can just do this not even sitting down. Just after shower you can just take your brush and then just comb it through and that is it all. Oh, that's my hair looking really fresh and nice looking all blown out and really dried. Really nice looking moisturized well and so I think I like this brush a lot. If you have fussy hair like mine that is so difficult for you to brush, you should give this comb a try. There are other combs too that are designed like this for fussy hair. It will not give you any damage as you can see my hair is quite long in it 
it's just stretches out a little bit and that's all not like fully stretch like straightening your hair no it will just blow out and then make it easier for you to make easy and simple simple styles onto your hair so that is it for today thank you so much for watching i hope this blow dry was helpful to you don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new give this video a thumbs up also leave a comment down below and i'll be back to reply you thank you for joining me and see you in my next video bye